everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a marvelous day. And today, as you can see, I'm doing a voiceover for the first time. I'm going to be recreating this look right here that you guys see. It's basically a neutral cut crease with red lips, and I have been really enjoying it lately, so I want to show you guys. First, I'm going to put my hair back because I have a bunch of baby hairs, and I also have straight hair, so it makes it easier if I just put on a headband and push that all out of the way. Now we're going to start with a fresh face, of course, and we're going to move on to primer. The first primer I'm going to go in with is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer, and I'm going to be putting this in my T-zone um, to battle the oiliness that I have because, as you guys know, I have very oily skin. So we're just going to put this in my T-zone, mostly in my nose, chin, and forehead. Then we're going to go on to the Maybelline Baby Skin Smoothing Primer, and I'm going to put this where my pores are the largest. Now that we're, our face is ready, I'm going to be putting, I'm going to be mixing the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation with the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation, and I'm going to be putting this on the back of my hand. This will make sure that the color matches me well, and also it's going to give us the perfect base, because we are looking for that Hollywood glam, so I'm, we're just going to make sure that we have maximum coverage and, and that everything looks flawless, and I'm going to be blending this out with a angled kabuki brush. This just is bigger and will make the job done quicker. Next we're moving on to concealer. This is the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. We're going to use this to highlight and conceal our under eye circles. We're going to be putting this on our chin, our forehead, and down the nose. We're going to blend this out with our Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I'm also going to be putting this on my eyelids to prep for the eyeshadow that we're going to be doing later on. And this is just going to act as our eyeshadow primer and then we're going to set it with powder and then we'll be good to go. Now we're going to move on to baking and the powder I'm going to use that for is the Kaudi Air Spun Powder. You guys have seen me do this a bunch of times with my beauty sponge. It just ensures that everything is set nicely and everything is smooth and that everything will last a very, very long time. And you want to make sure your sponge is wet for this. Now we're moving on to the eyes. I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance Anastasia um, Beverly Hills palette. And I'm going to be going in with the first color is Warm Taupe. And I'm going to be taking this on an Ipsy, Ipsy L34 Blend Beauty Brush. And it's just a long haired crease brush that you might have, have already. So just take any crease brush that you have and just put that color all over your lid. We're working with neutrals here, so if you don't have these colors, just use what you have. Next, we're going to be going in, into the Tartlet palette into a darker brown. And the brown that I'm using is the color Dreamer on a Vicenity brush in the number 4, which is the contour eyeshadow brush. It's just a shorter haired uh, synthetic brush than the brush that we used before, just to make sure that the color is nice and concentrated. And we're going to be putting that in our outer corner. And also, I'm going to be using the Elizabeth Mott Blending Brush, which is just more dense and compact to ensure that the color is very, very nice and blended. And then, finally, we're going to be blending with the Warm Taupe. And then we're going to move on to eyeliner. The eyeliner that I am using in this video here, I'm going to be using the Maybelline um, Blackest Black Gel Eyeliner with a long thin brush and we're going to be creating our baseline and then a wing. This will just give us the Hollywood glam makeup and we're just going to be doing a very short wing, nothing too extravagant. If you guys are very good with eyeliner then do your favorite wing that you guys want. Um, but I'm just going to be doing a short one and using the stuff that I have. Then we're going to wipe off all that powder and set the rest of our face. We're going to be using, to set the rest of the face, we're going to be using the Better Skin Powder from Maybelline. This is just so that everything else blends beautifully, and then we can move on to the contour, the blush, the highlight, and everything else to come afterwards. We're going to be using the Anastasia Contour Kit, uh, the one that I always use, in the colors Light to Medium, and we're going to be using the two 
uh, contour shades at the very end, one to contour and one that is more bronzy. And we're going to be taking that on an angled brush, any angled brush that you guys have. And we're just going to contour the cheeks, contour the forehead, and contour under our jawline and a little bit on the nose. Just to give our face that very nice definition. And also we're going to be working with more neutrals on this type of look because the very Hollywood glam is very neutral. So we're just going to continue to use the neutrals in this look. Now we're moving on to blush. This is the Milani Baked Blush in Bellissimo Bronze. One of my favorites, it's a very bronzy peach, and it just gives a lot of life to the face. Now we're going to be doing brows. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Chocolate, and I'm just going to be using any angle brush, and we're just going to do our brows. If you guys want a brow tutorial, then please let me know, and I will definitely go into depth on how to do your brows properly with pencil, dip brow, and powder. If you guys want to see that, then please let me know in the comments down below. And then we're going to set them with the Jordana Set Brow Gel. And this is just going to hold them down so that the, for the entire day it all lasts and stays put together so the brows don't move anywhere and they will be held down like glue. Then we're going to take the same color Dreamer in the Tartlet Palette and we're just going to put that underneath our eyes as our lower lash line eyeshadow. Then we're going to go on to the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. And this is just going to give us very voluminous eyelashes to make it look like we have false lashes on, but without the trouble, I guess you could say. This is one of my favorites, and we're also going to be putting that on our lower lashes as well. Then we're going back into the Modern Renaissance, and as our highlight, we're going to be taking Primavera on a Morphe B80 brush and this is the one of my favorite highlights right now because the brush is so small you get the high points very easily very quickly and this shade is just a very nice gold champagne shade that it just it matches anybody and we're going to be putting that on the high points of our face then we're going in with the NYX butter lipstick in the color lifeguard and this is just a very beautiful, beautiful red, very Hollywood red, and it's just a classic, and it's very nice for my skin tone, and it matches almost anybody's skin tone, and it's just a very, very beautiful red. Now we're going in with the Wet n Wild eyeliner, any cream eyeliner that you guys have in a light beige color, I guess you could say, and we're going to be putting that in our waterline. This is just going to make our eyes look very nice and awake. And there you go. That is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more of me, then please let me know in the comments down below. Sorry for me touching the screen. I was trying to focus the camera. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And if you did, then please give it a like. Also, subscribe down below. Remember to check out my Instagram and my Twitter. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.